Coach, coming off another hard loss, just kind of what do you say to your team moving forward uh, heading into the ball state? Well, it was it was definitely a, a different type of loss as far as, I mean, it was over at halftime, you know, so I kind of gave the speech at halftime about, you know, you're playing a good team, you're playing a team that has 13 fifth-year seniors. We knew we were playing a good football team, and we had to play mistake-free football to be in it late, you know, and we didn't. We, we turned the ball over every which way you can. And so it was over at halftime. So at halftime, we, we kind of regrouped, and we, I mean, we are – I think we're at plus four, plus five heading into this game turnover margin. We had five or six turnovers, and uh, we kind of waited till one game and c hopefully got them all out of our system, you know. But um, so we just thought we were going to take care of the ball in the second half and play our style of football, and uh, and we did, you know. And, and it was it was unique. It wasn't like we lost it in the fourth quarter. I mean, it was over by halftime. So uh, so yeah, it was it was. I thought it was a good second half. I mean, we played better. We 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 didn't. Turned the ball over five times inside our own twenty, you know, and um, and we came out and played, and we calmed down, and and the young kid played better in the second half. He didn't play great in the second half, but played better, and and uh, we started scoring and we started stopping them, and and it was so so we kind of, I felt like we had started to turn the page, you know, by the second half performance, and um, and we need to because we got we got two more games to go. How nice for Caleb is it that he does get a little bit extra time before he has to go? Yeah, he needs it, you know, mentally. Uh, you know, he's not a guy that's um, that's really ever been rattled. At least not – I mean, you don't get rattled in practice when you're wearing a red shirt because <laughs> you don't get hit. Uh, but he'd never really been rattled or, or shown. Even even when he went in and against Toledo, he, he didn't really get rattled much, you know. And, uh, and he got rattled. He got hit a couple times pretty good. Uh, some of the coverage rotations that they gave him, they caught him up two or three times, you know. And, um, you know, he's he's 18. I just kept reminding him, you know, that, hey, you just, every I didn't take him out at the end because he needs every rep he can get, you know, every even if he's just handing it off. Uh, we got, you know, real simple in the second half and just ran a couple of our base plays and let him try to execute them, and he did better, not as good as we need him to do. Um, but we kept coaching him. Every time he kept coming off, you know, we kept saying, hey, you missed this one, you missed that one, and then he'd go out and be a little bit better the next drive and a little bit better the next time. I think his confidence was growing as the second half went on. And, um, you know, it's obviously a change from from a guy that doesn't make mistakes, you know. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, that's disappointing, and you can't put it all on him. I mean, bottom line is, uh, you know, we, you drop two kickoffs, you have a punt block that they score on, and but uh, – you know, for me, as the as the guy running the offense and and quarterback guy, you know, I'm spending a lot of my time with him and meeting with him and and just uh, get his confidence back because you need to you can't play the game scared as an 18 year old. I really even as a 22 year old, you can't. You know, but you you learn that when you're 22 though. Um, so, you know, it was a disappointing game, and he's going to learn from it. Humility for him, and um, and really, really a lot of our freshmen. You know, a lot of our, I think it was five of our turnovers came from from freshmen. And um, who we've been, we've been kind of hiding. You know, they've done some things in, in, in on kickoff, or we've you know Chase Fair caught it and didn't catch. But we've done some of those things where the young guy. But it really hasn't. You know, starting seven freshmen hasn't bit us yet uh, until last week. You know, and then it showed. And and um, you know it'll be good. Those guys will learn from it. We'll turn the page. And uh, you know we just can't wait to get having extra practices this week would be great to get the confidence back and. And uh, and finish finish you know the season we got two games left and and we're excited to get back out there. Did you give us an update on John Watson? How was surgery? Went? went good. Two big screws. I saw the picture of it Friday morning. You know, kind of going going through his foot. You know, I came back over to the uh, uh, facility afterwards. Got to see him and um, you know he's still kind of a little bit out of it when I saw him. You know, but which is funny because John's always put together. So it was fun to see him a little bit. Uh, you know, feeling no pain when he was uh, in the back of his dad's truck, you know, and went home, spent the weekend with his family. And, uh, yeah, he's he's good. I mean, everything will heal. It's going to take time. But but uh, he's now on the road to recovery. You know, that's always – having been injured myself, the, the hardest part is when you're when you're not getting any closer to getting healthy, you know. So once the surgery comes and you wear all, all the pain meds wear off, like this will be the point where he gets to start moving towards playing again, which is going to take months. But um, – Everything went really good. Is the volume on the table? I don't think so. No, I mean, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't think so. 
So she talked about your defense a little bit uh, with the uh, number of points that you've given up the last two games where you see your defense headed. Yeah, I mean, I, it's hard. It's hard with the last game. If you turn the ball over five times inside your own twenty, um, that's difficult, you know. Um, so it, it was funny at halftime. I didn't really even know how we were playing because you're giving them the ball in the ten, giving them the ball in the fifteen, giving them the ball in the seventeen. Uh, you're putting them in five percent chance of stopping the most efficient seventh most efficient offense in the country, you know. Uh, so we got to improve. You know, we've played the two top scoring offenses in our league. And uh, and like I said, Toledo got after us, um, but this one was tough. I mean, it, they drove the ball on us, I think, like three times all day, and the rest we gave them short fields time and time again. So, yeah, you'd love to be able to stop people in the red zone. I mean, most teams score 80% of the time. They're in there anyway. Uh, so it was really hard to judge that because it, it ended up having to be a shootout, and we were, we were not in a position to have a shootout you know, with, with what we had going on at quarterback and, and the rain and all the different things that went on in it. So we definitely have to improve. We got to tackle better. We got to run to the ball better. Uh, I knew we were up against it against that group. You know, I think they scored 50 the last three weeks. You know, uh, we made it way easier because we kept putting their back up against the wall again and again and again. And once the second half, when we made them drive it, we started stopping them. You know, I think they scored 14 in the second half. But, um, you know, so that was – that that's what makes it a hard judge, you know, and we got to play better on both sides of the ball. But, um, you know, I knew we were with what we did to them. I hate to say that to them, but uh, the situations we put them in, I mean, you'll have a you'll have a sudden change every game, you know, but you don't have five and a half, you know, you're not supposed to have five and a half, you know, so um, and especially on easy things, you know, when when we're, you know, a kickoff goes off our head or a bird lets it bounce in front of them, you know, little things like that. Um, you know, so they, they, they know they have to get better. I think they have higher expectations, but uh, I don't think they'll ever be in a game. I remember one time in Michigan State, 1997, where we had a kickoff go off someone's head. You know, I've never seen two in a row, you know. So we definitely put them behind the eight ball this week, uh, and I expect to see them come out and, and, and have a great game this game. All State is one of those games that had you beaten Toledo and Ohio, it would have been easy to look right past them to Northern. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I imagine you're not looking past them at all now. What's the preparation like for them? Uh, I, it's, it's the most important game of the year, I mean, for us. And, and I think it's going to be that way. The moment John went down, uh, your, your team changes. I mean, you take, take your, your, your quarterback off most teams. If you take Rodgers or Brady off those teams, I mean, everything changes. So... So we knew that not till midway through the Toledo game, you know, but everything changes. So we, we need to kind of figure out who we are with Caleb, you know, and what can we do and and what can he efficiently do on Saturdays. You know, I obviously I put him in some situations that I thought he'd be able to execute and we didn't, you know, so I have to reexamine, uh, you know, what situations I put him in, you know, and um, – and then defensively, we got to tackle better. We got to run the ball better. But we, we have to have a chance. You have to be able to score points, period. And uh, so we need to do a better job of, of putting him in good situations because you need to have good quarterback play, you know, when you play Division One college football. And when you when you don't have it, you're 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 hoping you're hoping that you're in the game late. <laughs> you know, I knew I really felt in this game that if this past game that if he played out of his mind. You know, we could be in it, and it'd be interesting to see how we'd be in the fourth quarter. Um, but once once he got hit a couple times and started struggling, it was going to be a it was going to be a stretch. You know, so we got to get, and it'd be great for him to get the extra reps. And but uh, because we have that, it's not like oh, you know, we're going to run the same stuff we've been running with John all year, and and we're going to overlook a team. You know, what I mean that we. The moment John went down, we weren't going to overlook. Now it's like your first three games of the year as an offensive coordinator uh, of figuring out who are we, what can we do, what puts our new guy in the best situation possible to be effective, you know. And um, so, yeah, we, we have a ton of work to do. And, and it was a good break. You know, it was really weird this weekend watching guys play their ninth game while we're already done with 10, you know. Uh, so it was a good break for them this weekend. And... Um, and we had good meetings on Friday, and now we're going to get back to work. We had lifting today, and we'll practice tomorrow. You mentioned after the Toledo game that uh, the defense was pretty angry looking to get back out of the field. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that move like uh, for that unit heading into the state? 
Well, I'm hoping they're hung. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that they realize that I don't want to put them in the situation we put them in. I mean, that's unfair for anybody. You know, I told them that at halftime is we, we got to make them earn it. I mean, there's here's a team that can earn it. I mean, this is the – they drive the ball and score. That's what Ohio does. So, and we didn't even make them do that. We gave them, you know, first and goal or first and, you know, 10 from the 11, like four times. And one time they just scored on the block punt, you know. So, uh, so it was really tough to them to get into the mindset, you know, of – Mate, let's see if they can drive down the field on us. Like I said, I think they did it once, once or twice in the first half, and and once or twice in the second half. Which if they would have scored twenty eight, I'd have been, I'd have been dancing right now, you know. Uh, so it, w- with all the 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 mistakes we made, um, it's it's hard to judge that. I know they're not happy because they look at the point total, you know. And I I look, I start putting, I give three of those to special teams and two of them to the offense, you know, where we're putting them in situations that it's kind of like when they get the ball for us at the two yard line. I mean, do we really bang our chest about those seven points we just scored from the two, you know? Um, so I know they're hungry to get back out there because they're not happy with the way that the way it went. And we, we kept putting them in tougher and tougher and tougher spots, you know, in second half we didn't, and we made them earn it, you know, and I thought we played pretty well in the second half, you know? So, uh, so that's where we got to make sure we, we don't make it harder on, on a defense that's that's growing as every week by week by week. We can't we can't put them in those spots, you know. And so, uh, if we put them in those spots, we're going to give them a chance to be successful. And we didn't even we didn't give them a prayer this week. Uh, regarding the kick return team, uh, those uh, two fumbles that were charged to uh, Jaden Reed, uh, do you think those are were they both Jaden Reed? One was Tuck. Okay. First one was Tuck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you think those are things that are easy to fix as far as uh, you know what you're going what you're going to do yeah I mean, we got to catch them you know what i mean uh and those guys and we do it every day for for a long time and and um you know we had T- tuck took the one off the face off the helmet uh so we took chase who's done a really good job and we put we moved chase to his spot and put bird in and um you know and bird made a freshman mistake you know he attacked the ball at first because he knows you got to catch them all. That's that's kind of the saying with a kickoff return team. If the ball's up in the air, you got to catch them all. Go get them. And he's he's a guy that we trust to catch punts with people in his face. The great thing about kickoff is there's going to be no one in your face. It's actually easier, you know. And uh, he started attacking it for whatever reason. Stopped, expected it to hop up to him, and it didn't. It slid like a pitching wedge and had backspin on it. And he came right to the sideline, right to me. And I said, you know, what, what were you thinking? He's like, I thought it was going to bounce to me. I'm like, well, what are you supposed to do? He's like, catch them all. You know, and, uh, you know, it's it was a moment for him, you know. And um, so we're going to go out there and still we're going to keep shooting, shooting the kickoffs at him. And, and, uh, and you know, we just get, we got to end up with the ball at the end of the play. You know, we can even, we've talked about fair catching them. We're like, hey, well, fair catch, just catch everything we get, you know. And, uh, you know, Jaden has the best, some of the best hands on our team, you know. So I'm not that worried about that. I just, it's, it's good for him to, to have some humility and learn from those things. I threw four picks and a half. I still remember it like it was yesterday. And and so, you know, when the, when those young kids have those those moments, which we've been kind of been able to dodge for the most part this year, um, you know, you hope they learn from it and grow faster because of it, you know, because he has a lot of pride. And I know he's not happy about that. Uh, he's done a great job fielding punts, you know. Um, and he'll be a great kick returner too. He's just got to not – just keep attacking the ball, you know. I don't know what made him pull up for that one second, but it cost us, you know. Anybody banged up? No, we're. Uh, I mean, little things, little things. But uh, I mean, John, John's the only one. Everyone else is back, feeling good. You know, it'll be good to get a little break because they've gone, you know, so ten games already in less than ten weeks. So it's uh, we're feeling good, you know, and the guys are got a chip on their shoulder ready to get back out there and, and the, the anomaly of the amount of things that happened in that first half um, we recognize you know and uh, and the key is to grow from them is to get past them you know and and I like I said the bonus for us was the way it, it happened was our halftime was a really interesting halftime as far as I've, I've never really said at halftime the game's over I mean we're down 40 some points and and we need to we need to wipe it and move on, 
you know, and, and, and not turn the ball over and put ourselves in good positions. And, and we went out there and played a good second half against a really good team. And I think it was 14, 14 in the second half, you know, um, which is if we played that way, I thought it was going to be, a, we could make it a close game and we did, you know, but, uh, but those, you know, they, they, those mistakes we made in the first half put you in a position where you were out of it, you know, but our guys kept playing. Our leaders were unbelievable. Our, our senior leaders, our junior leaders that putting their arms around some of the young guys that made some critical mistakes in the game. And I, I think that's the only reason that we played well in the second half. And I think it's the main reason that we have a good chance moving forward of, of playing and enjoying it, you know, because we, we know we, we gave one away. There's a difference between getting beat and giving one away, you know, and, uh, and we, we gave it away. And not that we could have beat this team if we didn't give it away. It would have been a heck of a game. Uh, but, you know, with making the mistakes we made, you didn't give yourself a chance. John, coming off a tough loss against uh, Ohio, what do you do to kind of, as a team, regroup, get ready, um, and prepare yourselves for Ball State? Yep. Uh, these last two games haven't haven't really gone the way that we've wanted, you know. Um, we got a lot of film to watch um, and a lot of things to get better. I mean, give them all the credit in the world. They played uh, they played a heck of a game. Um, but it gives us an opportunity to learn from it. Um, watch film. We had these last couple of days to kind of reflect on um, the past two weeks, um, and and really made it. I think it just makes us hungrier and uh, uh, just get it back out there and uh, play again. So, Coach Lester just talked about the leadership that was provided uh, after the half. Obviously, that's you. And that's not a surprise. What, what are you saying to the young guys when something like that's happening uh, against Ohio? Yeah, you know it's a tough it's a tough situation for everybody. Um, just try and keep people's heads up, uh, especially for a lot of the young guys. It's a it's a learning experience, you know. Um, it was Caleb's first start, and uh, I can I can relate to that. Uh, playing at playing at Waldo against Michigan State, I had a, I had a tough uh, tough game, but uh, I was able to learn from that, and um, it helped me along in my career. So I'm just trying to help those young guys um, with those tough experiences and uh, to get past them because they're going to be great players here. You have probably the most unique relationship with Caleb, other than any, more so than anyone, probably other than Coach Lester. What's it been like watching him the last couple of games? I mean, Caleb's an amazing uh, person, first of all. Um, I mean, he does stuff in practice that you just go, wow, uh, he's going to be special here. Um, I mean, this last week, he, uh, he struggled a little bit, but um, it's just a chance for him to learn, you know, uh, le losing his learning. and. Uh, this experience uh, is good for him now. Um, he, he may not have thought he was going to play at the beginning of the year, but uh, I mean, being just throwing, being thrown into fire is, is tough. But uh, he's he's learning and he's going to do a great job next week. Four year career as a starter, um, kind of the end, I guess, is in sight now. Um, when you first stepped on the ball field, um, I guess, did you see yourself, uh, you know, getting uh, snaps, uh, you know, your first year then? Yeah, I mean, when I, when I was being recruited, I was I knew I was going to have a chance to compete for a job, a starting job, um, and then I stepped on campus early. I uh, was able to win the job in the spring. I struggled a little bit that first, those first couple of games in the fall, um, but just kept working and working, and um, I knew I had an opportunity here to to really to play a lot of football. Uh, I mean, I love Kalamazoo, I love this, uh, Western Michigan University. Um, it was one of the best decisions I ever made. So. Those are your, you know, those are your guys on the other side of the ball. I know that all of you are close. What have you seen from them uh, following the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, as, as an offense, we've put our defense in terrible uh, situations. I mean, uh, we we fumbled the we fumbled the ball or uh, we turned the ball over. Um, it, it's tough for them when they we the opposing team has the ball on our side of the field, starting possession. So, um, I mean, they're playing their butts off right now. Uh, we got a lot of great leadership, a lot of great leaders over there, um, great players. Still, we got a lot of young guys over there that are learning. Um, we got some guys that are kind of excelling, like Ralph Holly, uh, Tony Balbani's played great these last couple of weeks. Um, but we we need to do a better job on offense of helping our defense out. Ball State, what do you know? I know they're a talented team. I know um, Coach New does a great job uh, with it with his players. Um, I know they got some talent. I know uh, their running back, James Gilbert, is one of the best in the MAC. 
Um, defensively, they're tough. They're physical. They fly around. So, I mean, it'll be a challenge, but we're, we're excited to get back out there. Really just worried about us right now.